Logan Paul has found himself in another controversy somehow. If you don't know, Logan Paul owned a mini pig, or what he thought to be a mini pig. The pig, named Pearl, turned out to be a regular old pig that grows to the size of regular old pigs. If you don't know, pigs grow to be quite large. Here's a picture of Logan and Pearl. With Logan now having this new giant pig and him having a relatively fast-paced lifestyle moving from here to there, from state to state and state to country even, Logan Paul decided that it would be best for him to rehome the pig and find a new place for her to stay. Logan Paul actually owns a ranch in which his dad stays on, but because of problems with coyotes and predators that would be a damage to the life of the pig, he decided to rehome her to a farm that was in LA. Here's where the news turns a bit because we learned from this TikTok that the pig was actually found abandoned. So as you can see, that's pretty disheartening in the condition that they found the pig in, and I should stop calling her the pig, her name is Pearl, she's pretty famous, she's even more famous than me. In the condition they found Pearl in, Pearl was obviously abandoned, she was abused a little bit, and her ears were a bit messed up from whether it's from attacks or it was from just the condition she was being left in. Logan Paul immediately took to Twitter to defend his actions, defend himself, and make a statement about the situation. On Twitter... These are the tweets that Logan released where he stated that he did find a home for Pearl, that the home that he found for her was an adequate one, but they then later sold Pearl to another person who turned out to be the person responsible for abandoning her in the field. Obviously, people on Twitter are going to assume the worst because this is Logan Paul that we're dealing with. A lot of fans came out with just a public distaste in their mouth saying things like this or this where they obviously showing that they don't support Logan Paul and especially after his most recent crypto scam, they're not going to be trusting anything that he has to say about the situation. Personally, just to offer my two or three cents, I think that Logan Paul did the right thing. I think acknowledging that he was an influencer who lives a lifestyle that is all over the place, he has to travel from state to state all the time, it was best for him to find a new home for Pearl and find a way for Pearl to get the help that she needed while he was not able to do so. I think where Logan Paul went wrong was buying a pig in the first place. He's bought other animals before. He's bought horses. He's had a dog. He's had Maverick. So he's had animals before. However, when you live this type of lifestyle, you sort of forget about the nuances and the necessities of having things like pets. You have to provide a specific type of care to pets. You have to make sure that you're there a relative often amount of time. And in this case, when you're buying like a luxury pet, like a pig or a horse, it requires a lot of special attention. A lot of special attention that Logan obviously would not be able to deliver upon. So I think that's where Logan Paul made his mistake. But I do feel there are a lot of fans that are still heard about the crypto zoo scam, that are still heard about the credibility of Logan Paul in general, and that are really, really jumping down his throat trying to cancel him on this when it was obvious that he wasn't the one responsible for abandoning her, and it was obvious that he thought he was doing something in her best interest by rehoming her in the first place. So, for once, for just this instance, I will say, Logan, you don't deserve to be canceled for this, and you don't deserve the flack that you're getting online about it. But just try and make a better decision about these smaller things. I know you're a multimillionaire, so you got to worry about the multi-million dollar decisions. However, when you're living regular life, just try to be a little bit smarter, just a little bit, in terms of these smaller scales of things. That's going to be it for this video. It's not going to be a very long, drawn-out video, just a small update on the Logan Paul situation as we wait for CoffeeZilla's video. Until next time, and until the next video, dreamers, leave Logan Paul alone for a little bit. Out.